and welcome to MTD CNC India. Today we are here at Rene Shaw's newly inaugurated tech center in heart of Bangalore, Pena industrial area. And I am here with Mr. Paul, who is the MD of Rene Shaw Asia Pacific. And he is going to tell us how important is this tech center for them. Thank you, Paul. Uh, thank you thank for you your the opportunity. Time. Yeah, the, this opening is, is a big part of our plans here in, in India. Uh, Bangalore is the heart of our sales and marketing organization and obviously the heart of the CNC world as, as India. All CNC OEMs are based here. So we felt it was critical to our business that we could showcase the technology that Rene Show is famous for globally here within that heartland of the CNC world. And we, we, our plan here has been for a number of years. Obviously, with COVID, we've been delayed a little bit. But now we've, we've had the chance to do this, and we've really moved fast. Um, the, uh, what we want to do is bring people here to show them what they can achieve to take the equipment that they have today and, and upgrade it almost in the sense of the capabilities, functionality and yes. results. Yes. You know, people are very driven today by productivity, cost of, of manufacturing, quality control. That's our game, as I call it. That's yeah. our home. That's where we feel comfortable. So I think Rene Show is like a consultant. Yeah. Of course, we sell something, but we are a consultant. Yes, yes exactly. So I to totally agree with you. Uh, that uh, Rene, Rene Show has been a, uh, I mean, uh, very important in uh, machine and tool industry. And this Bangalore is very, very strategic location for you, right? Because it is a hub of machine tool industry. And as you said earlier, that your policy of look east. And yes. India is a very par important part of that policy. Yeah. Because uh, East Eastern Asian uh, market is 50% of your turnover, correct? Correct, that's right, yes. And in that, India is very, very important, fastest growing market. Yes. So I think it is a very, very good strategic decision from that standpoint. Of. Yeah, I mean, Rene Show has been in India for quite a number of years, 1998, if my memory serves me correct. And, uh, but we, we started with a small operation that was pretty much part of our manufacturing facility, which is in Pune. Now, uh, that facility grew very fast, but our sales and marketing was at a much slower rate. But it's been in the last sort of three to four years, just started pre-COVID, that we started to say, look guys, we really need to kick this forward. We can see the future's coming. You know, 10 years ago, India, people were unsure with all the different regulations and the government situations. But since then, things have changed. Stable government, government support of industry, export driven as well not just domestic driven but export driven and that really drives technology because people then realize that if i want to get that quality levels i have to invest more and that's exactly what's happening now and as you heard from the earlier speeches from 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 ams and other people you know the government is behind them it's giving them the incentives and, and we want to be here to, to join that join that that, that that party shall we say Absolutely, and I think, uh, as, as you know, that Indian government target of reaching five trillion economy, and India will become a third largest economy in the world. I think uh, this manufacturing sector is going to a big contributor in that uh, yeah. dream, right? And uh, you are rightly said that government is supporting uh, Indian industry in exports as well, which will create a lot of demands for your products as well. One of the key elements, I think, is is you talk about domestic. Well, domestic is fine, but the export market. Yeah. And if you look at economies around the world where they've excelled and grown fastest is, is, is phase two. Yeah. Phase one is a domestic market. But phase two is, I'm now an exporter. People want to come to my country to make products in my country to sell back to them. That's the big step. And I think if you look at other Asian countries that have been successful, that's what they've done. Yeah. And I think India is now realizing under the current government, we need to get exporting. Yeah. We need to make it easier to do business exactly. in India. Exactly. No, you're right. And also, India has a demographic dividend. They have a young young engineers, a lot of young engineers, and which also make it a very, very, you know, a great point for India, right? And I think, uh, I, as I saw the response of your team, they are also very, very excited to have this tech center. I think it's, it's a kind of dream come to from them. Yeah, it's like a home. You know, that for many years, we have an office. But what's the difference is you just got an office, you're always going to the customer. You're not inviting the customer to you. Yeah. And I think you need to get that balance. Of course, you must visit customers, 100%. But at times, you want to say, come and see what we've got. Yes. Come and join us and let us show you what we've got. And that's important. So it's, in India, we've, we've been doing it. It's by actually in the last two years, we've expanded significantly in the APAC region in terms of demo facilities. We've opened a tech center in Korea. Uh, we've also purchased a building in Nagoya in south of Japan. And that's, that's our new tech center and logistics center for Japan. So we've been very busy during this COVID period looking at investment for the future because we know the bounce is coming back and today in India is another example of that. Exactly. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I wish welcome. you all the best. I thank think you. this tech center is going to be a very, very huge uh, success for you guys. Thank you, and thank you for the opportunity. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. you.